Dobrodošli v Sloveniji. Welcome to Slovenia. Yeah, Slovenia, the first time I've done a regatta here, it's actually pretty cool. We're in, right in a little bay here and um, the breeze is really shifty over the land, makes it interesting, especially with these boats because uh, the performance uh, gains and losses are huge downwind uh, as you get a puff, so yeah, no, it's a really good fun venue, really good. Day one of the RC44 regatta and um, as you can see it's pretty light, it's got a light offshore wind at the moment, forecast is only a maximum of about 10 knots as a sea breeze so uh, that happened yesterday, similar sort of day to day, maybe a little bit of waiting but should be okay. We had uh, two scenarios before going on the water. We went out quite early, so we all knew that we we're going to go straight into the semi-finals and not into the finals as we would uh, have done if the wind uh, just would start it up two hours later. So we had enough time to do the semi-finals and finals, and then we meet in the final uh, Paul Kayat. The first cross he was ahead, and you know it was very difficult to come back. The race course was very short, and um, you know that is very difficult to come back. Uh, better than expected really, uh, brand new team, we've been sailing together two days now, <laughs> racing together for two days, so we had a good couple days on the water, so it's a very nice way to start the Katusha team's participation in the RC44 class. We had a great day's racing out there today. Um, we had four races. Uh, we started the day with two firsts, which was great, and then had two, uh, two races where we were over the starting line at the start and, and uh, had to return. So in those races, it was a matter of trying to get back as much as we could. It was, uh, it was shifty, which helps. You know, if, if there's big shifts and and uh, you get those right and some of the others make mistakes, you can, you, can, you can have the opportunity to come back. We're somewhere near the front here, yeah, we may even be leading, and um, yeah, that's a good position to be in. Day two of the fleet racing in Port Oroz. Uh, we've got the DHL race today, so that's our uh, longer fleet race, and it's worth double points. So, you know, we're hoping for a good showing there. We're just outside of the top group. We're in fifth. So, you know, it's it's a it's a big day today.
Uh, we were just coming into the into the mark close hold, and they uh, they tried to squeeze in there within three boat lengths. So uh, and they made us made us laugh up, you know, very aggressively to uh, you know you know try try to avoid them. So um, I don't know why they tried to do that. No no idea. It's, it's super. It's a lot of fun. I, I would like a race with uh, a 30 mile uh, reach like that. I, I felt all my muscles <laughs> at the end. Uh, it's pretty hard to steer uh, uh, because the rudder is uh, really full. Uh, but uh, somehow um, great, great sailing. Was it such a big lead? Uh, maybe it was. I think the team worked extremely well. Uh, I think we said after was probably our best uh, sailing performance uh, this year. If you look at the day at hole and uh, uh, everything worked very well, the maneuvering, uh, the tacking, uh, the jibing, which is not easy out there. Uh, the, the, uh, then we were second in one race um, after the uh, Oracle and then uh, we won the, the last race, which we were especially pleased with. Final day here in Puerto Rose, it's, uh, we're looking like uh, potentially three, uh, three races to, to finish the series off, so you know, effectively we're only two thirds of the way through the event, so I think it's the, the fun thing about these regattas, you've got, um, you know, just uh, they bang off races very quickly and, and things change dramatically during one day as we, as we saw yesterday, so um, yeah, for us we just have to go out there, we've got um, BMW Oracle I think seven points behind and then no way back at you know, they're a further few points behind Oracle and, uh, and see what happens. We're very happy with the day. Uh, we're happy the way we ended um, the fleet racing. Uh, I think first, second, and uh, I don't know where we ended in the third. But uh, that was good overall. We did what we could. Going into the last race, Artemis had cleaned up the fleet racing. No issue there. And uh, we were one point behind BMW. We had to beat them and get them between us and Katouche to get the overall win. Yeah, it's great. It's great for us, being uh, being newcomers in the class, being un totally unknown uh, uh, to these people, uh, all big boat sailors in their own world, and uh, we come from a very uh, different background. Uh, but all of us have been sailing uh, for for forever and ever, so we're good sailors. But uh, people didn't really believe it.